Plastic is everywhere, but do you know just how much we're throwing away? From millions of bottles a minute to shocking ocean pollution stats, the numbers behind plastic waste are staggering. In this video, we're breaking down the jaw-dropping statistics that reveal how plastic is impacting our planet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more eye-opening insights. One, one million bottles every minute. Around one million plastic bottles are purchased worldwide every single minute today. That's 1.44 billion bottles daily, enough to circle the globe five times every 24 hours. Most of these are single-use and never get recycled, ending up in landfills or oceans. Recycling rates for plastic bottles remain shockingly low in both developed and poor nations. Less than 10% of all plastic ever produced has actually been successfully recycled. The rest sits in dumps, incinerators, or leaks into the environment, harming ecosystems. Even when recycled, plastic can only be reused a limited number of times before degrading. Two, eight million tons of plastic end up in oceans yearly. Every year, over eight million tons of plastic waste leak into the world's oceans from land. That's equivalent to dumping a full garbage truck's worth of plastic into the sea every minute. This includes bottles, bags, packaging, fishing nets, and invisible microplastic particles. Ocean currents spread plastic waste across the globe, reaching remote islands and polar zones. Marine animals ingest or get entangled in plastic, leading to injury, starvation, or death. Seabirds are often found with plastic pieces filling their stomachs in place of real food. Coral reefs get smothered in plastic debris, disrupting fragile underwater ecosystems. Three, the world has produced over nine billion tons of plastic. Since the 1950s, humanity has manufactured more than nine billion tons of plastic globally. This includes packaging, textiles, electronics, construction materials, and household items. The majority was created for single-use products, discarded within minutes after purchase. Only a small fraction of all plastic ever made is still in active use or recycled today. About 6.3 billion tons have already become waste-polluting land, rivers, and oceans. If all plastic waste were stacked together, it would dwarf the size of Mount Everest. Annual production has exploded in recent decades and shows no sign of slowing down. Four, microplastics are everywhere, even in our bloodstreams. Microplastics, tiny plastic particles under five millimeters are found in almost all environments. They come from clothing fibers, tire dust, degraded plastics, and industrial manufacturing. Microplastics contaminate oceans, lakes, soil, air, tap water, and even bottled beverages. Recent studies found microplastics in human blood, lungs, breast milk, and placental tissue. These particles may trigger inflammation, immune disruption, or long-term health effects. Researchers are still discovering the full consequences of chronic microplastic exposure. The average person consumes about a credit card's worth of plastic every single week. Five, the fashion industry is a massive plastic polluter. Over 60% of modern textiles are now made with synthetic fibers like polyester or nylon. These are essentially plastic threads derived from fossil fuels such as oil or natural gas. Each wash of synthetic garments releases thousands of plastic microfibers into wastewater. These fibers bypass treatment plants and flow into rivers, lakes, and the ocean unseen. Fast fashion produces billions of clothing pieces annually, often worn only a few times. Globally, fashion contributes nearly 35% of the ocean's total microfiber pollution. Cheap synthetic clothing may seem affordable, but it carries a heavy long-term cost. Six, single-use plastics make up over half of ocean waste. Roughly 50% of the plastic found in oceans comes from single-use consumer products. This includes plastic bags, straws, utensils, food wrappers, and disposable containers. These items are used for minutes, but pollute ecosystems for centuries after disposal. Most coastal and riverine plastic pollution begins with improperly managed local waste. Tourism, street vendors, and festivals often leave behind mountains of plastic debris. Asia and Africa bear much of the ocean pollution burden due to poor waste infrastructure. Yet Western countries export much of their plastic waste to these regions for recycling. Seven, plastic pollution kills millions of animals annually. More than 100,000 marine mammals die each year from plastic ingestion or entanglement. 
Sea turtles often mistake plastic bags for jellyfish and choke or starve after consumption. Birds like albatrosses feed plastic pieces to their young, mistaking them for floating fish. Dolphins and whales get entangled in fishing nets, strapping bands or balloon ribbons. Microplastics disrupt fish development, brain function, and reproductive health in oceans. On land, grazing animals eat plastic littered vegetation, leading to bloating and death. Even pets and wildlife near cities fall ill from discarded wrappers and packaging waste. Eight, plastic waste costs. Billions in economic damages. Plastic pollution causes severe economic damage to tourism, fisheries, and maritime trade. Coastal communities spend millions annually on plastic cleanup and beach restoration work. Tourists avoid polluted beaches, costing local businesses jobs and income year-round. Fishing industries lose billions due to ghost nets, boat damage, and contaminated catches. Marine debris clogs propellers, fouls engines, and damages ports and navigation systems. Agricultural lands polluted by plastic mulch suffer reduced soil quality and crop yield. Plastic-related health costs, from exposure to cleanup labor, also weigh on public budgets. Nine, plastic production is linked to climate change. Producing plastic releases enormous greenhouse gases throughout its entire life cycle. From oil extraction to refinement, every step of plastic creation burns fossil fuels. By 2050, plastic production could account for up to 13% of the global carbon budget. Incinerating plastic waste emits toxic gases like dioxins and furans into the atmosphere. Plastic manufacturing facilities are often located in low-income or minority communities. These areas suffer increased cancer, asthma, and other health issues from air pollution. Recycling plastic still consumes energy and contributes to emissions and transportation. Bioplastics sound promising, but often come with their own hidden environmental costs. 10. Only a global solution can end plastic pollution. Plastic pollution is a worldwide crisis that requires coordinated international cooperation. No single nation, company, or individual can solve it without a shared global commitment. In 2022, over 170 nations agreed to begin drafting a binding global plastics treaty by 2024. This agreement aims to address full plastic life cycles from production to disposal. Global policies must also reduce virgin plastic production and invest in eco-alternatives. Waste exporting countries must take accountability instead of offloading problems abroad. Producers must redesign products for reusability, refill systems, and zero waste solutions. Consumer education, bans, taxes, and incentives can shift demand towards sustainable habits. Innovation in biodegradable materials and closed loop systems shows promising momentum. Now that you've seen the real impact of plastic waste, what will you do differently? These numbers aren't just shocking, they're a call to action. From cutting down on single use items to supporting eco friendly alternatives, every choice matters. Don't forget to like this video, share it with someone who needs to see it, and subscribe for more content that sparks real change.